Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. Here we are again. Here we are. It flew by. The weekend flew by. Hopefully your weekend flew by too. I mean, not too fast, it's but it means you had a good weekend. It's so it does. funny. I was just talking to Amy Wattis about how like the, the days just kind of start to blend into each other and the work day seems the well, same. Well, it's harder to do more. It's harder to do different things. Right. Uh, because there aren't as many options right now. And so even, I think that's part of it. Even with the weekend being your, hey, if this is your free time, man. Right. You do whatever you want to do. There's, like, what do you? Right. <laughs> and oh, then all of a sudden it's Monday morning there. again. Yeah. 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 So and, and, and I really have a case of the Mondays today. It's like you, one of those like, oh, I know you woke up and it was raining and it was just like, oh, I just want to stay in bed. I know. And yet here you are with a here smile on are. your We're face. Ready to go. We're and ready. now I'm glad I came to work. So no. all right, let's talk about our weekends. This is going to be a big throwback for you. What? So on Friday night, our big Friday night in uh, Frankie picked up this big bucket of Legos. Yeah. And we put them out on the table and oh. we just were building Legos. It was I so love much Legos. fun. Um, you know, we have to be careful with Rocco because he likes to take whatever he can get his hands on and throw it or eat it or put it in his nose. So <laughs> yes. one of the three is going to happen. <laughs> okay, one of the three. <laughs> so we had to be careful, but it was so much fun. It just... Like this is this is the joy of parenting is that when when you can feel like a kid again yourself. Right, because you can relive what you played with as a kid, or at least the joy of that sort right. of thing. Did you play yeah. Legos? Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. I had Lincoln Logs and Legos. Those yeah. were my two, and I liked Legos better. Yeah, there's so you much. You could do more with them. We had we had a versatile. blast building Legos, uh, and then Saturday I made cookies. I saw this online. I made this recipe. I'm sure it, many people know about doing cake mix, cake box. Right. Right. Cookies, but this is my first time doing it. Four ingredients, so easy: cake mix, oil, eggs, and then I use those Hershey uh, candy-coated Easter egg. Yeah. You know those? You crush yeah. them up and you put them in, and they're so much fun for springtime and for Easter. They're gone. Well, they look delicious, but you have said, and I don't want to put you on the spot if you didn't mean it for real. I'm doing it for real. Are you doing it for real for next real week season. on the show? Yeah. Next Monday, tune in because she's going to make us cookies. I'm going to make a bunch of cookies. They yeah. were so easy. They were so easy. So I'm going to make a couple of different kinds. I like easy and delicious. And then this is a, it's just so nice. It's a little cheesy, but I drove through the Starbucks line mm -hmm. yesterday. And the woman, when I got up to the counter, she said, oh, the person in front of you paid for your drinks. Oh, nice. And I said, oh, that's so nice. So I said, well, I'll get the person behind me then. Now, how does that work? Oh, I see, because you placed your order, at one, so they know the amount. Yeah. Because you've already placed your order at, like, the little talk into the right. box part. The so then you get into the drive through <laughs> Well, yeah, but yeah. The, the window is part of the <laughs> yeah. drive-through too. Yeah. But first, there's the talk into the box part. Yeah. So yeah. I talked into the box. Okay. I told them my order, <laughs> and then the person in front of me paid for. And I, so I asked. Now, I said, "How many people in front of that person had it gone?" And she said, right. "A couple. It's a couple people deep so far." So I kept it going. I don't know how much longer it lasted. Now, did you ask how much the order behind you was before you, or you just I went? I didn't, for it? and that's oh, dangerous at Starbucks. Because they could have been getting like 15 coffees for the whole office. You have no idea. <laughs> so I was, just, I'll get the person behind me, and it was around the same price as mine. Okay, so it so wasn't all a worked big out. Deal, but but yeah. that's kind of sweet. It's kind of neat that it's people fun. are thinking of each other, like paying that's it forward. It's, you know, it's silly, literally. But it's so nice. It was just yeah. so nice. That was my first time being part of a pay it forward in a drive through well, line. I'm excited. I, I, wanna, excited. I wanna go to, to a drive through just to see if it'll happen to it. me. You should start yeah. one. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Yeah. That was fun. It was. All right, fun. so uh, you know how sometimes you just get a hankering for something? Yeah. And for me, it's either sweet or salty. Yes. Well, I mean, I guess it could be sour or, too, but. I like, to, I like to say, like, as, as part of a balanced diet, you need both sweet and salty. So, what this is, if you can't tell what it is. Fried potatoes? It is. So, Friday night, we were like, you know what, we didn't order potato chips. And uh, we have gotten hooked on these mesquite barbecue potato chips or the Old Bay ones. Uh -huh. And so, we had all we had were these little teeny tiny potatoes. So, here I am with, like, the, the grater slicing, you know, the, the potatoes, trying not to hurt my fingers. But we got them into the skillet, and now I want to show you the finished product because they weren't bad. 
they actually they turned out pretty good. I mean, we added salt to them, and they, you know, when they still had the grease on them, the salt sticks right there. Oh. And it was good. There's like, nothing bad about fried potatoes, even would, if they don't taste like potato chips. Or it doesn't still matter. Good. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, exactly. Add a little rosemary or whatever you Ooh. want to it, and they're delicious. All right, and then all last week, as Ron was talking about the forecast. Uh -huh. I said, I'm going to wear shorts on Sunday. <laughs> and Ron kept joking, we're all going to need sunglasses because David's legs haven't seen the sun since August. And there they are. And this is photographic proof that Ron is correct. They kind of <laughs> blend into the white parking lot lines. I, see, I, I can't see where the line stops and your legs begin. This is proof that I'll put, I'll put a picture of myself on TV. And I don't care whether I look good or not <laughs> because I don't look good in that. But I had shorts on on Sunday despite the rain and everything That's else. That's fun. And the rain did let up eventually. I, although I know Ron's talking about flood advisories exactly. and warnings today. But that's, this is like, the, this is springtime in western Pennsylvania. Yeah. The Lawn Wharf is closed. You know it's spring. Right, so spring is on its way. Right. It's kind of a way to measure it. Yeah. All right, well, speaking of uh, traveling and getting away, maybe from western Pennsylvania just for a little bit, people are itching to get away right oh, now. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and so there's a, a new study by Travago, uh, and this is unusual. 38% of Americans would give up bedroom intimacy for a year uh -huh. if they could travel immediately. I, I mean, I, I'm not sure if that's totally truthful. Maybe it is. But I think that it speaks to the idea that people really want to go somewhere. I want to. We booked our, our, our flight and our travel arrangements to Las Vegas. Yeah. We're going. You're going. I'm out of here. Yeah. Come June, I'm gone. Yeah. So. Well, no, and I think, I mean, we're all sort of waiting to see when things will sort of open back up. Like, for instance, the cruise industry, when right. they're going to start, like, even booking the cruises and all yeah. that kind of stuff. But people want to get away. And then this, this other fact goes even farther, so, or further, further, because it's not distance. Right. All right. <laughs> uh, one, in, <laughs> one in five uh, people that the Trivago asked would dump their partner altogether for a chance to get away. Maybe they want to get away from their partner. Yeah, maybe there, I think there's a way. larger issue in those for those people, and nearly half would give up their jobs for a getaway. Well, I feel like that's probably become pretty evident this past year too. People are like, I don't like you, I don't <laughs> like my job, and I just want to go to an island by myself. So it's it's been a lot <laughs> for a lot of people. Oh gosh, I'm like I'm trying to move my hair. I have a big knot what? in my hair. It's not good. Oh okay. okay. All right, we had, <laughs> don't worry about it, David. Uh, we were talking about this last week. We didn't get a chance to show you this. No, we adorable we video. thought we had it on Friday and we didn't and have we didn't. it. Okay, yeah. so we we have to introduce you to Morty. The wait is over. We have to get to mm -hmm. this because this cute little adorable Chihuahua kind of bounces and prances along. Um, apparently, he's a special needs he's dog. He's a special needs dog. Yeah. And so his owners have been posting these videos to music, and he's adorable. And they're re really their messages to adopt. But take a look at Morty. <laughs> Does that not make your day so much better? Here's the thing. There's music selection after music selection after music selection, and he dan it, like it appears that he's dancing to every single one. And he's it, he the, his owners say he loves to walk. He actually has one eye, uh, and Aww. and he they got him from a shelter in Texas. He also has an extensive wardrobe. <laughs> we're told. <laughs> And they, they, his parents just say, his owners say, he's just a happy, happy dog. Aww. So if you want to follow, it's Morty the Misfit on TikTok, and I, they're on Instagram, too. What a good pet parents, too. You know, you can tell that he's loved, and he has yeah. a good home. And I just love... What an adorable I love dog. those videos. They're all so good. You have to check them out. All right, from that to, uh, to this, have you ever heard a cat sing, maybe like a big cat? Yeah. Like, like a tiger? No, I, I would say no. I mean, I've heard, I've heard tigers purr, you know, but I've never heard singing. And I have not heard what we're about to show you. Uh -huh. So we're all going to get to judge this together, whether it sounds like a tiger singing or not. So let's listen. <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> I'm not 
what? Good. There's something there. Yeah, I don't know that, that she's actually carrying a tune, no. but this is a tiger at a zoo in Siberia. Yeah, uh, zookeepers say the sound was so unusual because tiger's vocal cords were not designed for high-pitched notes like these. So I don't and know. And yet, she's able to do it. And this is how she gets uh, her mother's attention. Yeah, that would get, that's like the equivalent of mom, mom, right. Right. mommy, mommy, <laughs> mom, mom. That's well, that. hopefully the mom turns around sooner or later. No, they don't know. turn around. They hear <laughs> you, right? but they're not paying attention. I promise you. I know that one. All Can right. I get a snack? You didn't get my water for me. <sighs> I love getting little glimpses into what your life is like. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, well, it is time to take a break right now because we have a lot to actually celebrate on today's show. Mm -hmm. We are celebrating the reopening of a family favorite today. The Pittsburgh Zoo is reopening. They probably have a tiger like that. They do right up. there. Maybe that sings too. We're going to find out. Selena Pompey <laughs> is live to show us what to expect when you visit because they're reopening and the tiger looks thrilled. Hashtag not <laughs> amused. Plus, we're celebrating the start of Home Ec on PTL and David is going to teach me how oh to my iron God. a shirt. Gosh. Don't miss that. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. This is going to be interesting. And we're also saying cheers to New Bowers Flowers and Market House on their 100th anniversary in the business. Mikey Hood, there she is, is live at the Market House for the centennial kickoff. And that's coming up. Plus, we're marking the start of a new month. It's March 1st, 2021. We are so glad you're with us for this fun-filled Monday show ahead on PTL.